ชัดๆครับ Professor Yang, you've been closely watching Thai politics, the red shirts, the yellow shirts, and of course you are part of very much part of Thai politics as well. You you grew up here. You went to international school here. Looking from afar now, how do you feel about Thailand? Does it still have a future? Well, I think I think Kun Su the Chai. Um, that's the right question to ask. Uh, I think if you look at Thailand from afar, mm -hmm. uh, most Farang don't really know much mm -hmm. about what's going on. The 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 Western ideas, the Western press coverage mm -hmm. is very superficial. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think, however. Even the New York Times, Washington Post, especially, especially <laughs> New York Times, Washington Post, The Economist, The Farang, yeah, they don't know how to think the way the Thais think, you know. No, and uh -huh. uh, but I'm very worried. Mm -hmm. I am more worried now mm -hmm. about Thailand than ever before. And as you may remember, mm -hmm. uh, I first came here in 1961. Yes. That's mm -hmm. 48 years ago. Right. Mm -hmm. And my, father, and you were, my father was the American ambassador. That's right. Yeah. And we had, we had a, we've just had a wonderful family relationship with Thailand. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe different from many Farangs. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't speak Thai so well anymore, uh -huh. but I have a feeling that there's something special to us, to my family. Mm -hmm. My father, my mother, myself, my brother, my mm -hmm. sister, mm -hmm. about Thailand. So yep. we, we care about Thailand. My dad was very close to Sarip. Mm -hmm. And in 1961, there was this gap between the Bangkok elite and the rural poor. Sure. A real gap. Yes. So today, 2009, mm -hmm. when I hear the red shirts say that, oh, there's this gap between Bangkok and the Bang Law, yes. I think that's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Today, it's more like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a gap. Mm -hmm. in, Amer in my country, there's a gap. Right. But 1961, it was like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just went back to Ban Chiang. Yes. As you may know, I discovered... Of course. Ben Kong Po, right? Of course, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. When I went to Ban Chiang mm -hmm. uh, 43 years ago, mm -hmm. No electricity, mm -hmm. no flush toilets. Mm -hmm. you ha if you needed hot water, you had to boil it. Mm -hmm. Chicken meat was too expensive to eat. To eat, you had to get the little fish in the you know, in the pond. In the pond. All right. Today, in in Benjiang, electricity, flush toilets, mm -hmm. hot water, ATM machine. Wow. ATM machine in Benjiang. Most of the houses have the internet. 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 At that time, there was no even a telephone. No, no telephone. Nothing. You, radios. I remember we had the radio in the house with batteries. Today is television. Today, mm -hmm. it's international television. Mm -hmm. People in Banchian sit and they watch the soccer games in Europe. Yep. The people of Banchian had cell phones. This is this is modern Thailand. Mm -hmm. It is so many changes. But mm -hmm. back in 1961, and the understanding of, of Field Marshal Sarit. Yeah. Now there was a dictator. Of course, it was, a military, it was a military dictator. I mean, right. none of this stuff about elections or anything. No. Hey, Sarit was a tough guy. Yeah. But he cared about the people, especially the Isan. Mm -hmm. So the Thai government began all these programs mm -hmm. to develop these. Oh, in Ban Chiang today, all the roads are cement. Yes. Before mm -hmm. dirt roads. Mm -hmm. Thailand has done so much. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I think in particular, people in Bangkok, the mm -hmm. Bangkok elite, in particular, His Majesty mm -hmm. deserve appreciation and affection mm -hmm. for for what they have done for Thailand. So mm -hmm. when I hear all these strange things mm -hmm. about Thailand doesn't have this, doesn't have that, needs mm -hmm. to change, needs mm -hmm. some intellectuals want a revolution or something, mm -hmm. I think this is why this is crazy. It mm -hmm. makes no sense to me. Mm -hmm. So why do you think? There have these rumblings about change. About my my feeling is, quite frankly, mm -hmm. that this goes back to the ambitions of one man, Taksin. Mm -hmm. Taksin. Mm -hmm. And I ask myself, why is he such a threat to Thailand? You knew Taksin before? No, only by reputation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He Taksin. When I first heard about him, mm -hmm. when he bought the, the started the Shin Corporation. Yes. What I heard is he's a guy from the police, mm -hmm. he's a police major, who got a contract from the government mm -hmm. for the telephone mm -hmm. after one of the coups. Mm -hmm. Now, I asked myself back then, mm -hmm. so what, 93, something like that? Yes, 92, 93. 93, yes. How do you get a contract from the government? Right. Mm -hmm. What do you have to do mm -hmm. to get a contract? 
Mm -hmm. And I noticed then Kun packs in, makes money, you have more and more wealthy, more and more wealthy, mm -hmm. and it's all because he has a government license. Mm -hmm. He's not out there. A monopoly. A monopoly. He's not out there working like, like mm -hmm. other people. Mm -hmm. He has this monopoly which the government gave him. Mm -hmm. Meaning the Thai people, mm -hmm. represented by their government, gave him an exclusive, elitist, mm -hmm. monopolistic, special privilege. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is aristocracy. Mm -hmm. This is elitism. Mm -hmm. This is not a man who started out a poor worker in the village who worked hard and came up and up. Mm -hmm. He had some special connections. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I have seen him use many special connections. Mm -hmm. But I have never seen Thai society so divided. Yep. Mm -hmm. The divisions over the communists were not... The communists failed in Thailand. Right. They mm -hmm. could not divide the Thai people. Mm -hmm. Thaksin has divided the Thai people. And to me, this is sad. The Thai people should not be so divided. But Thaksin claims that he changed the face of Thai politics. He made the masses, the rural people, speak up for the first time. They, they for the first time, found that politics benefited them. They can really touch and consume and eat politics. I think that's ridiculous. Mm. Rural people in the communities have always had their patrons. Mm -hmm. They can always have some influence in this kana and that kana. Mm -hmm. I have my, you're my patron. Mm -hmm. I look up to you, you take care of me. Mm -hmm. You're at the Changwat level. Mm -hmm. You have your patron at the Bangkok level. Mm -hmm. So I can sort of get something to the Bangkok level mm -hmm. going through you. Mm -hmm. This has been true for a long time. Mm -hmm. Now, I also ask myself, Thaksin is in exile, mm -hmm. but he wants a pardon. Mm -hmm. He wants his money back. Yes. He doesn't want the conviction. Mm -hmm. Other Thai political leaders did not act like this. Mm -hmm. If you, if we remember Thai history, all the way back to pre D Phnom Penh. Pre D. Yeah. The situation changes. He mm -hmm. leaves. Mm -hmm. General Pal, a powerful police general. Mm -hmm. Sarit takes over. General mm -hmm. Pal leaves. Does not come back. Mm -hmm. Pibun. Mm -hmm. Pibun leaves. Yep. Does not come back. Mm -hmm. Sarit. Mm -hmm. After Sarit dies, there's an argument about how much money he made. Yep. The government takes the money back. Mm -hmm. The family does not argue. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Tanom, Kun Tanom lost his money right. and he went into exile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I asked myself, why is this man Thaksin mm -hmm. different? Why doesn't he think like a Thai? <laughs> why? I think because he's not really, he's not really a Thai Thai. <laughs> he has other ideas in his head. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. He does not think Grand Jai. Mm -hmm. He does not think Moon and Bat. Yeah, he did, he has a different. He thinks about how I can, how I could be a powerful man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something mm -hmm. like that, right? Yeah. I want to be the big boss of everybody. Mm -hmm. This kind of thinking, to me, reflects not Thai Buddhism, mm -hmm. but Chinese imperial thinking. Aha. Uh -huh. The imperial thinking of the Chinese emperor. It wants to be the boss of everyone. Under the, the Chinese theory, mm -hmm. and we can read the books about this. Yeah. And I've studied this a lot. If mm -hmm. we read Han Feidza, mm -hmm. if we read Modza, mm -hmm. we see this thinking. And so when I look at what everything Kun Taksin does, mm -hmm. how he uses government, how he puts his money here, he puts his money there, mm -hmm. it's just like Han Feidza and Modza were writing about mm -hmm. 2,000 years ago. Uh -huh. Same thinking. Mm -hmm. Now, this idea in China is, and this was adopted by Qin Shi Huang, yeah. the first man who created the empire. That's right. Above there is heaven, mm -hmm. Tiang, right? Yeah. Underneath Tiang, there's one man. Yes. Qin Shi. <laughs> and underneath the Tien uh -huh. there's you and me and everybody else uh -huh. called Tien Sha. Uh -huh. And when Kun Taksin wants to control the government, uh -huh. the police, uh -huh. the army, uh -huh. the judges, uh -huh. the businesses, uh -huh. the TV stations, uh -huh. the newspapers, uh -huh. that's bringing everything under him, under, him, under the Tien <laughs> And no Thai leader in history has ever tried to do this. I mean, right. This is something new and different. Uh -huh. Therefore, the Thai people are divided over this. Something new has been added by Kuntaxin.